our Lord, accept this from us. Indeed, you are the hearing, the knowing. Quran chapter 2, Ayah 217 Prophet Muhammad made this dua as he was building the Kaaba with his son Ismail, peace be upon them. The first house of worship on earth that Allah asked them to build with their own hands. As Prophet Abraham was building this house of worship, where billions of people have faced to pray and millions of people have performed tawaf, he was still afraid that Allah may not accept his deeds. This dua asks Allah to accept our good deeds. This dua teaches us to always humble ourselves when performing good deeds and not to assume our good deeds will be accepted by Allah for certain. We should always be in a state of humility when we perform good deeds because we never know if Allah will accept our actions. Some things can prevent people from having their good deeds accepted. For instance, if someone performs a good deed to show off to others and don't do it solely to please God alone, intentions are very important in Islam. We ask Alam to accept our deeds even though there might be some shortcomings in our actions. While a Muslim should be hopeful his good deeds will be accepted, he also needs to have some fear that his deeds may not be accepted. We should have a good balance between the two, or else we can feel a sort of self-righteousness, feeling as if we deserve to have our deeds accepted by Allah, which is arrogant. We should not let Satan deceive us to think we are entitled to have our actions accepted by Allah. So recite this dua whenever you complete a good deed for Allah to ask him to accept the good deed from you.